what we're really talking about with AI is a back to the future story. And that is what's happened over the last four decades is there's been so little time with patients and so little listening. In fact, we're down to some eight or nine seconds before there's an interruption and the patient can't even tell their story. So the whole idea is that we want to give the gift of time. We have the most serious problem of physician burnout, depression, and even suicide in the history of the medical profession. And there's been a lot of studies to try to get to the root of this, and it isn't just physicians, it's nurses and across the board of all clinicians. There's two different pathways that we can use AI uh, to fix this problem. One is at the level of doctors. Uh, so when we see patients, instead of typing on a keyboard and looking at a screen, natural language processing can take that conversation and make a synthetic note that's far better than any notes that we have today. And also, of course, the ability to review all the data of a patient that goes through many different levels, not just the electronic health record, but uh, the uh, genomics and the sensors and all these different sources of data that uh, weren't customarily available in any given patient. So on that side, we have uh, harnessing AI uh, tools to bring back that relationship. But on the patient side, it's getting rid of the need for a doctor for simple, non-serious matters. Things like a urinary tract infection, a skin lesion, a child's ear infection. All those things today have uh, been validated or are in the midst of getting validated for a doctorless diagnosis, many times at levels of accuracy as good or even better uh, than uh, studies with doctors. So we have an opportunity if we use both of these uh, different pathways for AI support, both for doctors and patients, to bring the doctors and patients back together, that's exciting, and that's as good a remedy as I know of for fixing the problems we have today for both the burnout as well as the problems with accuracy.